Kelly sued GM in a whistleblower blower case over a decade ago. So tell us what happened. Yeah, it goes back to 2002 when uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Corlin Kelly was uh, noticing some flaws in a SUV that uh, would leak fuel. And he was concerned this could be a hazard and dangerous and it could be potentially fatal. So he was pushing inside the company for a recall. And he says that he ran into a lot of problems. He says this in court records that we have. And uh, eventually they do a recall. Uh, after the fact, he, he felt like his career had been uh, hindered by this. He felt some uh, retaliation and he sought whistleblower protection uh, under Michigan law. In part, uh, he, I think he believed he did this because he saw other problems that hadn't been addressed. So he was trying to get some uh, attention to this issue in hopes that maybe a, a higher level GM executive uh, would come down and take care of the problem. Uh, did he say what kind of retaliation he felt like he faced? Yeah, he, he, he's, he was taken off of, uh, he was at the time the brand quality manager for the uh, Chevy Cali uh, Caliber, uh, which was the uh, predecessor for the Cobalt. Um, he was taken off of that, and he, he, he said in court records he was put on uh, what they termed special assignment, which essentially was uh, purgatory, uh, where he was uh, done, given assignments that really didn't have any value, he said. Um, and he essentially, his, his career stalled at that point. He had had a high tra trajectory at, up until that point. Okay, and all of this, though, Tim, fits into today's hearing and what Mary Barra has said continually, which is there was an old GM, and yes, there were problems where executives ignored alarms from other employees. Now there's a new G GM. So, uh, and, it, you know, if you take the side of GM, what you're saying is not that surprising. Yeah, what's interesting about this and how it, it kind of ties in today's hearings and, and the GM that's dealing with the cobalt problems is that the GM's internal investigation into what happened uncovered a, a quality manager involved in the cobalt who, who told investigators that he was reluctant to push back against safety concerns because he saw what happened to his predecessor. Right. This man was named Stephen Oakley. Stephen Oakley worked for Cort Cortland Kelly back in the day uh, on the Cavalier. Uh, and Tim, just on a final note, what has, uh, what has GM said, if anything, about your story? GM says that they are going to reopen uh, Mr. Kelly's uh, complaint and look into his safety concerns. Um, as part of their effort, they are uh, following the cobalt issue here. They're redoubling their effort to look at all potential uh, safety issues throughout the company. And that's how we've, we got to the point where we have 20 million uh, recalls in North America this year alone.